All right. So ladies and gentlemen, last class period, what we talked about is when we're dividing by i, remember we talked about it doesn't really make too much sense for us for what we know about i because i represents an imaginary number, right? So it didn't make sense to say how many times can an imaginary number divide into something that's a real number. So what we did is we simplified this without having it as a division problem. So to get rid of i, what we did is we took our very favorite color, hot orange, and we multiplied i on the top and bottom. And we can do that because we know that if I said 2 fourths, and if I multiply by 3 over 3, that produces 6 twelfths. Well, is 2 fourths equal to 6 over 12? Yeah, right? That's OK. So as long as you multiply by the same number on top and bottom, you're keeping it a, a, a uh, mathematically equivalent. So now what we have is we're going to have 2i over 8i squared. But well, remember, when we learned about i, we said i is equal to i, i squared equals negative 1, i cubed equals negative i, and i to the fourth equals positive 1. So i squared equals negative 1. So you say 2i times 8 times negative 1 now produces negative 2i divided by 8, which now you can actually reduce that. 2 over 8 can be reduced to negative i over 4. Right? 2 eighths is the same thing as 1 fourth. Cool? OK. So that was number 1. That's what you guys are supposed to do for number 1. Um, if you guys want to 